Noob Noob, I heard you either were a guest on the Joe Rogan podcast or know a guest on the Joe Rogan podcast. Either way, don't look in my fridge. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I heard a crazy story about a guest who was just on the Joe Rogan podcast and I they thought I would share. They got murdered. No, they did no, murdering? they did all the murders. That's right. Uh, Joe Rogan, for some reason, had a weird guest on his podcast and uh, apparently the man had just gotten out of prison after beating a 50-year sentence in 25 years because he was, re- was booked in like 94 and got out early and somehow. And then went and did the murders. And then he uh, got out, and then with it, he, then he was was out for like about six months. How is he famous enough to know Joe Rogan? I do not know the answer to that, but maybe we'll hear some of the answer from him himself. Let's take a look at the article here. Joe Rogan guest arrested after discovery of headless torso. What? Oh boy. A Harlem man who became an outspoken advocate of criminal justice reform and rehabilitation. Yep. That doesn't sound right. Not a great look. Sheldon Johnson Jr., 48, was also charged with manslaughter and possession of a weapon after police found a headless torso and arms. What about the head? I'm innocent. No head, no crime. Pretty sure he was innocent the last time. He didn't do it. The remains were identified of Colin Small... Small was pronounced dead. dead, Really? You found his torso and (laughs) arms, and he was pronounced dead at the scene. Okay. uh, Let's call it, boys. This this man's not making it. His his, uh, relationship to Johnson was not immediately clear, but they two may have had beef dating back to their time, not dating each other, but back to their time in Westchester's county's notorious Sing Sing prison. One of the neighbors in the uh, premises heard at least two gunshots coming from inside the sixth floor department, followed by a man shouting, please, I have a family. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. They call, And then uh, there's more to the story, too. Uh, he claims he was a high-ranking member of the Bloods, but began to untangle himself from his gang ties around 2005. I really said, I have to change my life. I have to change my life. I just can't do this. I had a wife. I had kids. I had family still. My son was growing up. He was hearing stories of my so-called notoriety. I just didn't want to be that dad. Yeah, I don't know if I believe any of that. Now people are outraged, and they want Joe Rogan to delete this podcast immediately. (laughs) I think it's fine to leave it up there because it's a reminder of don't believe everything you read or hear. As if a person says that they've turned their lives around, maybe you don't believe them immediately. It's so like he wasn't that famous. Why would Joe Rogan bring him on? Like, what's the point? I think he was trying to court. He, you know, he's known for being like always call him a right winger. So he's like criminal justice reform. I can get behind that. Rogan's always trying to prove that he's actually not conservative, that he's a liberal. So. And he is a liberal. But he has to prove it all the time because people call him right wing all the time. So now he's like, look, this guy was in prison for 25 years, and now he's not. Look how awesome this guy is, except he murdered people. Why didn't he murder Joe Rogan? Good question. But what he did do is dress up in this blonde wig. Wild surveillance images allegedly show Johnson wearing a wig as he carried bags out of the apartment the night of the murder. Wonder what was in the Probably bags. the head. Uh, the convict turned activist activist was escorted out of the 44th precinct. Surveillance footage allegedly shows Johnson in several different disguises as he came and went for the crime scene after the murder. Uh, that's pretty funny. I mean, I couldn't tell it was him. Can you prove that it was? I don't know. He was coming out of his own house. I don't know. It could be anybody's house. Allegedly. The deed could have changed over. We don't know that for sure. Uh, he was 48. He appeared to talk. He appeared on the show to talk about his criminal past, which include robbing someone at gunpoint and assaulting them to steal their jewelry. All right. One Sound. person on Reddit said a lot of red flags were going off in my head when I listened to that episode. Sounds like a stand-up dude. His lawyer called his client a miracle, adding that he was unfairly sentenced to the two decades robbery that left the victims with only two stitches. 
Really? Then why did he go and murder someone afterwards? I don't know, man. This is uh, so Joe Rogan's an idiot. Eh, yeah. I, I don't think he's screening the people. You like don't bring people on. Just, just keep bringing on Elon Musk. You're fine. I don't think Elon's killed anybody. No. Well, he might. Maybe. He probably did. <laughs> Who? That where? Who's that? Uh, the, the the weird math equation wife that he has. Oh, you're talking about uh, name like Ting Tong X Y Z or something. <laughs> you're talking about Gre- Greaves? Graves. Greaves. Graves. Graves. No. Amanda Bynes. Gre- Grimes. 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 Yeah. Grimey. Grimes and Amanda Bynes. Grimes and wow, this guy went on an Uber with body parts. That's pretty pretty messed up. Oh jeez. That's not good. Here's him in different costumes. I like the hat. That's a quality disguise. A Here's for a different effort. one where he's dressed in a, a for effort. I don't know what's going on here. A human head, legs, and arms were found in his freezer. Wow. A for effort. Good job, Rogan. Oh, this is his attorney, Josh Dubin. Good job, dude. That's a you're a bad attorney. What You've a- just basically shown the world that you're a terrible attorney. So uh, would you like to hear it from his own mouth, this guy? Let's hear him talk a little bit. Sense of 50 years, decided to turn his life around by murdering more people, allegedly. So when I ended up getting arrested for a case, um, and when I sent someone to go pick up the money from them, they kind of just was like, you know, eh, whatever, I'm not paying them. So when I came home, um, one guy in particular, I ran into him with his girlfriend. He Did you five. get that case got dismissed, right? The gun charge? No, the one that you were away for. You got arrested for something. Mm-hmm. You're in jail. Yes. These guys figure since you're in jail. Why is this dude doing all the time? He's like trying to explain his way out of it. Why is he doing this? <laughs> so stupid. What are you doing, dude? Fuck it. We're not going to pay him. Yeah, I'm not going to pay and him. And then the case that you were arrested for got dismissed. Got dismissed. Right, I got so then you. So then you come home. So then I come home and, you know, I need my money. <laughs> I go back out. I'm like, yo, I got this, this crime. Got to quit it. I got it, but I still still need my money. I'll beat you for it. I I need my money. I'm just just it's just me being honest. This is miss being straight. You know, I gave you something, and we had an understanding that you were gonna pay me. And when so I came I home, him. when I finally located this particular individual, he had his girlfriend with him, um, and this guy owed me five thousand dollars for some drugs that I had gave him. <laughs> Yeah, he sounds like a good dude, right? Dear good Lord. guy. On consignment, I gave him an eighth, of, uh, an eighth of a kilo, which is 125 grams of cocaine. <laughs> on, um, on consignment. And when I saw him, he had a bunch of jewelry on. He was with his girlfriend. She had a bunch of jewelry on. I said, hey, man, where's my money at? Where's my money at? <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't you have a whole st- You have a whole short Where's my on money? That. Where's my money? This sounds like you. Oh, yo, I was going to pay you, boo. As far as I was concerned, his jewelry was, we was even. So (laughs) I robbed him. And I took his jewelry. And his girlfriend happened to be there. And um, unfortunately, she got caught up in the situation. (laughs) I had a bunch of young guys with me. So I pistol whipped us out of her. What is happening? And they robbed her as well. They robbed her as well. He got hit in the head. Oh. With the gun right here on the side of his head, and he got two stitches. So he's just admitting the crimes. And they gave me yes. 25 years for that case. Did you hit him in the head? No. One of the guys that I was with hit him in the head. Um, but you were still dealing drugs and beating people up. Like, you still, like, what are you supposed to, you're not going to get convicted for, you know, he told other people to beat this man and his girlfriend after he gave him drugs to sell. Like, I'm pretty sure you're going to jail for that, dude. I mean, 25 years is a bit much, but he's clearly a what hard criminal. He, yes. And he identified me in a photo array, unbeknownst to me. <laughs> he identified me in a photo you're array. What do you mean, unbeknownst guy, you know, to you? As far as I was concerned, he was in the streets just like I was. So oh, right. I didn't really rules. understand that, you know. What is that? Like I said, we go doing? back to morals and values Why? and principles and how warped they can be, right? Morals and values and principles. <laughs> this does not. So apparently, this is one of Joe Rogan's least liked videos. Like, it's got numerous, numerous negative uh, commentary here. 
Who's here because of the dismembered body in his New York uh, NYC apartment? We are. Here we are one month later. He's arrested again for murder. He murdered a man and cut up his body. He's a living example of why certain people shouldn't be let out of prison. Never delete this vi these videos. People should learn how deceptive and monstrous people can be. I agree. What he's admitting he's a terrible person. I don't know what's being deceptive At about 710, that. At 7:10, let's go to 7:10. He the the judge calls him a menace to society. I think I'd agree with that. No? Yes. He sounds like it. Made some of the decisions that I made. Um and he just called me a menace to society and he just he gave me 50 years. And I remember when I um when I first got to Downstate, which is a processing facility, and they give you what they call is a time computation sheet. I don't I no. I don't care. He should well, he's back in jail. He's obviously. back in jail. Sadly, he had to murder someone to get back. There, Why but... would Rogan let this guy on? I don't know. Rogan's an idiot. <laughs> this guy seems pretty cool. Hopefully he isn't found dismembering a body. <laughs> <laughs> Bro turned his life around exactly 360. <laughs> the judge who gave him 50 years must feel pretty smart right now. <laughs> yes, he does. The judge is probably dead, but... Rogan, tell me how you changed your life around, Sheldon. How does a severed head in my freezer sound to you? <laughs> People are killing it. Oh, oh my gosh. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Yep, Rogan's an idiot. Let's yeah. cancel him. Cancel Rogan. Guess who wouldn't cut off a person's head and stick it in their fridge? Joe Biden. <laughs> or probably Noob Noob. Yep. Or maybe he would. And if you don't, give him $1 a month... I will. And join this program. We'll hunt you down. Our program. On you, consignment. Yes. We have many levels to joining and supporting Even this channel. Even with your girlfriend. But if you have $12, which you could have been spending on dismembering bodies. I will take your children. You can put them here your to jewelry. better use and get the amazing content that you deserve from yep. our reviews will kill you. In the meantime, you can also catch our podcast on iTunes and catch us here Friday night, 730 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. While we live stream and have all the parties, you can come join us here. It's a good time had by all, especially those who join and can potentially win free movies and gift cards. That's a possibility for Noob Noob's live stream. That's right. You got to go and hang out with us. But in the meantime, don't go doing any crimes because you will do the time because we are all to the next one.